Okay, part two of kind of how this started for me in the big arena. This is not about how the Montana corruption stuff started necessarily, but writing on the Montana stuff kind of led to this, but the, the real estate stuff led to the bigger stuff I write on now. So then through the 1031 exchange bankruptcy, I was, I stumbled over the I view it technology story. Now these folks had a, <laughs> this invention, right? Now every cell phone, every video ad, the Google ads that have the videos in them, um, technology on YouTube, you got every, uh, television, if they did a cease and desist on the t technology that they invented, 90% of television would be shut down, like all video on cell phones, all video on the computer. They invented that um, about 11 years ago now. They had signed agreements with Time Warner. Check that out at jeffreybukes.com. Also, my, my site on the IBO patent is deniedpatent.com. And now I have several things, such as CEO Paul Otolini.com, which is the CEO of Intel. I have um, several sites on the technology companies and what they did. Um, Bruce Sewell, S-E-W-E-L-L.com, he was the general counsel at Intel, and now he's at Apple. So um, they all knew about this technology that they stole. There would even been attempted, you know, there was a car bombing on the inventor's car. That wasn't investigated. Yet, um, me, I'm a security risk, right? I go to California for my birthday and I'm held out separate and told I'm a security risk. I'm a security risk because I blog, but they didn't even investigate a car bombing in Florida. The inventor's car was bombed. Oh, the, the file was lost. The FBI file's missing. Hmm. So I end up now writing a lot on corruption in the Florida courts. So people send me information on the Supreme Court in Florida, on different attorneys in Florida, it's kind of led to a whole bunch of stuff through writing about I view it. And the, the inventors, basically, the story is just huge, but their attorneys stole, basically stole the patent. Prosecutor Rose at prosecutorsucks.com, and they basically were kind of in on it in the beginning and use the technology, the investment in the technology is what actually collapsed Enron because the deal kind of went bad. Now there's over 1,200 documents of proof at iviewit.tv. That's iviewit.tv. My site on it is deniedpatent.com. And you can see what this law firm did to create this huge mess. Now, Prosecutor Rose pays like $11 million a month in rent in New York alone, right? They're a really big deal. They're involved in so many uh, high finance scandals, yet for some reason the SEC, <coughs> no, the Department of Justice, nobody's really doing anything. Why? Well, Prosecutor Rose <sighs> controls everything. I got an email yesterday that, they're, that they control Boston. Well, they control everything everywhere. They represent some of the biggest companies in the world. They are global, they are massively huge, they are a really, really big deal. The top two attorneys that were involved in stealing the IVO patent have conveniently had heart attacks. Hmm. It's a big deal. And so the IVO at technology, sorry I keep doing this, but sometimes it shuts off. The IVO at technology is worth $13 trillion. There's a $13 trillion federal RICO lawsuit. FederalRICOLawsuit.com I have on that. There is SEC complaints. There's, like I said, over 1,200 documents at iviewit.tv. And for some reason, um, nobody's listening, right? So it'll hit a tipping point because um, all of the facts are there. But for now, people like Prosecutor Rose control the courts, control the Supreme Court. I write a lot about Judith Kay. She was appointed by Andrew Como, who is the New York Attorney General and now going to be the governor. Uh, his father, Mario Como, appointed Judith Kay. Okay? She was on the Supreme Court, so she protected Prosecutor Rose all these years. Right? Her husband was one of the associates of Prosecutor Rose, and he's passed away. Um, just some of the other connections here real quick. Um, Foley and Lardner. So Foley-Lardner.com is my site on that. And Foley and Lardner, Michael Gravy, he was running Foley and Lardner when the patent was stolen. He was also Obama's boss. Obama used to work at Foley and Lardner. Um, the, the U.S. President's office goes to my sites on this all the time. Nobody does anything. 
the USPTO, which is the United States Patent Office, they have connections to Foley and Lardner, plus they have connections to IBM. I mean, all of these, all of these companies are connected. It's just, it's mass corruption. Then, but then you have these people that actually invented this technology, and they get nothing from it? Thirteen trillion dollars? Signed agreements a decade ago with Time Warner? Site on that is jeffreybukes.com, and Bukes is spelled B-E-W-K-E-S. And I, um, I get on these tangents, don't I? This is basically, I'm telling you kind of an overview of how this stuff started. So it's led to me writing a lot on attorney corruption. So there's a lot of uh, law firms involved in the IVU patent, and Greenberg Trog sucks.com, I have that. Uh, Trog is, I think it's T R A U. R I G, and um, but just go to attorneycorruption.com or denyedpatent.com if you want to know about this story. It's it's a really big story, and originally it was kind of the patent was kind of stolen by a bankruptcy proceeding, so that's kind of how I got involved. And now I end up writing on some of the. I mean, I just get stories of all kinds of stuff. Uh, there's a bunch of. Um, there's videos, there's conversations, there's uh, depositions where people have flat out lied. There's so much proof. It's like, you know, walking up to a giant purple bus and saying, and you're just standing right there up against it and going, there's no purple bus here. Where's the purple bus? I mean, it's so blatant and so obvious. It's kind of fun to write about it because it's fact on top of fact on top of fact on top of fact. Anyway, um, so that's the idea of patent. And um, my next uh, video on this, uh, how I got started, I will call part three, will be about the Montana corruption. What's up, lowermedia.com? Uh, email me your story, crystal at crystalcox.com.